It has helped more than 20,000 New Mexican businesses stay open and avoid laying off their workers. But the Fed's Paycheck Protection Program also ends next month. Right as the state's coronavirus cases are mounting and the state scales back its reopening plans. News 13's Francesca Washington is live in downtown Albuquerque with the latest. Francesca? New Mexico has gotten more than $2 billion from the PPP, and hotels, restaurants, and businesses that rely on tourism have received a big chunk of that. The intention was, you know, to get, you know, two and a half months worth of payroll, so to speak, um, you know, for the plan. And uh, so we've actually been able to stretch that out, and, and we still have the funds, and we're still stretching, which is good. The Treasury Department doesn't reveal exact amounts, but downtown's, downtown Albuquerque's Hotel Andalus got a PPP loan of between $300,000 and $1 million, all as they've stayed open with very few guests while keeping many of their 130 employees working. In other corners of tourism, Duran Central Pharmacy in Old Town, with its well-known diner, got between $150,000 and $350,000. Nearby Hotel Chocolate, somewhere between $350,000 and a million dollars. The company behind the Sandia Tram and the new 10-3 restaurant at the Crest got at least $300,000. Meanwhile, Towski Valley got between two and five million from the PPP to, to help pay more of their workforce of more than 200. The feds are forgiving PPP loans if 60% is spent on payroll, but companies need to spend that money within five and a half months of receiving it, and it's uncertain if another round of funding is in the pipeline. We're just taking it one step at a time. I try not to look too far into the future. I mean, I do, but, um, you know, just face the challenge that's in front of you, get past it, and then look at the next one. And, and don't try to uh, think, oh, okay, well, what happens if this happens, or that happens, because you're going to drive yourself crazy. Hotel Andalou says another big cost it has to deal with this year is the loss of wedding, banquets, and parties with mass gatherings still being banned. Albuquerque's amusement parks also got PPP grants. Hinkle Family Fund Center up to $350,000. Cliffs up to a million. Dean, back to you. All right, Francesca, thank you. We've posted a searchable database of PPP recipients. Just go to krqe.com. Sandia Resort and Casino was the big winner in New Mexico. They received somewhere between seven and fifteen million dollars in federal help the sandia casino is easily the most lucrative in the state routinely pulling in more than hundred and fifty million dollars a year in slot machine earnings alone over the past decade 